Chuck says, okay, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna play it like a real game. We're gonna play four quarters. We had me, Scotty, Mullins, Bird, and Patrick, and Magic had his five. We weren't gonna change that team at no point in time. You got your five, I got my five. We gave them the college guy. You can have Christian Leitner. We don't want him, you can have him. He's just over there waiting to tag in. But it was, it was about, about pride, and the college kid couldn't help either one of the team. Michael Jordan called Clyde out and went at him. Tell him, this is what I'm gonna do to you. Fall away jumper, good. What did I tell you? So I said, no, Clyde, you better get him back. You better get him back. Charles Barkley said, I wanna take Carl Malone now. So Charles gets it, fall away jumper, good. I said, oh, no, Carl, you got to get him back. You better go down there and get him back. Carl went right at him, jump shot. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing, Barkley. So then I came down. <laughs> His energy is real high. He feels like he's in an opportunity to prove himself. <laughs> Showcase that, hey, look, I'm still Magic Johnson. We st I still dominate this game. That's all right. That's all right. Magic was saying, you ain't the guy, and we got other players in this, in this gym. Come on, they go. Oh, they don't want me. Don't be cheating on me. It doesn't take much to get Michael going. Just a little something to tweak him, and it's on. Go back, go back, go back. He never liked to lose. Mike always got that look. When you see that look, then you know just give him the damn ball and get out the way. As much as it was five on five, we could see in Monte Carlo that it was gravitating towards, okay, Michael and Magic. Magic was hesitant to surrender his place on the mountaintop. And Michael being Michael, he needed to say, no, I'm on the top of the mountain now. Magic was saying, look, NBA's not yours yet. You know, I'm still here. Michael's like, no, it's over. This is, this is mine. And the funny thing was Larry was, he was sitting on his side. He goes, it's his. <laughs> Watch out, baby. Chuck realized the competition aspect was getting a little bit too high. Killing everybody on our squad. He wanted to end practice, but Magic didn't want to end because he wanted to keep playing because we just kicked his ass. How you like that ass kicking we gave you? Oh, no, no, no. Come on now. Well, Y'all got the first, first quarter of practice. Now. By the time practice was over, even Magic had to acknowledge basketball's landscape had been changed forever. Good job, Steve. Larry and I were talking, and Michael walks in, and he says, it's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> and we both hit each other like, well, he's not lying. <laughs> Monte Carlo was kind of a turning point. Walls started to come down from, you know, when you're playing against each other, you have these rivalries. These are my teammates now. They're guys that, you know, that I'm looking towards for support. It seemed like we became more friends than anything else. The players were off to Barcelona, headed to the Olympics. 